really busy year for Jeep. Um, I don't think we've slept, um, but uh, thankfully things are going pretty good so far. And we've got a lot of exciting things uh, to share with you today with the, uh, uh, the 2014 Jeep Cherokee. You know, uh, if you think about it, we're just coming off our best year ever of uh, sales of over 700,000 units across the world. And uh, we're actually holding serve coming into uh, August. We're, we're, we're basically flat with sales um, around the world uh, for Jeep through August. And uh, we're doing that without a midsize SUV. You know, we've basically been out of uh, liberties for a year. And uh, all of the other Jeep vehicles are doing some pretty heavy lift. So you've got Grand Cherokee, our most awarded SUV ever. Sales are up uh, 30 and 40% every month since we've had that in market. Compass and Patriot, we renewed and put a new uh, six-speed uh, automatic transmission in it. Uh, they just had their best month ever, well over 10,000 units uh, of Compass and Patriot. So they're, uh, they're really doing well in the marketplace. Wrangler, of course, it just depends on which month and how many of them we have available. It depends on how big the record Wrangler is continuing to set for us. And, um, you know, right beside it in, uh, in Toledo because the uh, Jeep Cherokee is, is now also uh, going to be built in Toledo. Uh, we've got a, a great new uh, addition with the, with a midsize SUV. It's really important to us at Jeep because the midsize SUV segment is huge here in America. Um, almost twice that of the uh, Grand Cherokee uh, SUV segment. So the midsize SUV is about 1.7 million units. And um, really, you know, we've become a bit of a bit player with, with Liberty uh, because of its ride and handling and fuel economy. It was a great 4x4, but it lost its way with what the customers were looking for in the midsize SUV segment. So when we sat down to say, okay, what is this uh, all new Cherokee going to be? We really took a lot of time to say um, we needed to be a Jeep, right? So vehicle needed to be a pure Jeep 4x4 and needed to be best in class by far. To be true to its name and to be true to its brand, that was a given. And I can tell you, uh, having bumped this down the Rubicon Trail, uh, it is a true Jeep. Uh, it is really cool. We've had it uh, running a couple of trails out of Moab as well. And uh, you'll experience it here this afternoon. This vehicle is a true Jeep. Uh, but more important for that segment, we knew we had to make sure that they got the fuel economy that they wanted. So, you know, um, 31 miles per gallon is, is a great result for uh, a vehicle that is so capable. And now we can deliver 31 miles per gallon. We do that courtesy of a new 2.4 liter. We also have a, an optional 3.2 uh, liter V6 as well. So if a customer wants to app, opt up to more towing, uh, or more power, or more performance they can with the V6. We're one of the only lists left in the segment that lets the customers do that. Um, but those, those two kind of goals collided, so the way to do it is we have some really good technology. So a nine-speed transmission gets us a great crawl ratio, gets us great four-wheel drive capability, and it also gets us great fuel economy. The new nine-speed, uh, which is now an industry first, uh, coming to the marketplace with, uh, with that. The other things uh, that we uh, one, it was really good ride and handling. The, the customers were demanding almost car-like ride and handling for the midsize SUV segment. So we built it off the new CUS wide platform and great torsional rigidity, great uh, suspension setup for the independent front and rear suspension. The guys will show you the details, but you'll experience it today as we're driving up through the twisties. The, the, the vehicle does actually drive like a car and it's an SUV. So um, the other thing that's really important to the customers that we looked at for the program uh, was safety. So some of the things you would just expect on the safety side, like 10 airbags, you know, um, voice texting, Uconnect phone, all of that stuff is, uh, is all standard. But we've also got, um, you know, great technology that we've linked into this vehicle. So when you take a look at the technology, you have a nice seven inch TFT, the 8.4 touchscreen, uh, Uconnect system, um, Klaus will take you through how that uh, is all set up in the interior, but we've also got some really nice unexpected technology that you'll be able to experience today with blind spot, cross path uh, detection. We've also got um, parallel park, an industry first perpendicular park. So there's a lot of uh, good technology that's almost even unexpected for the midsize SUV that you guys will be able to experience today. You know, the, the safety and the technology you'll be able to experience along the, the route and then the most important uh, thing that we will do with you today that no one else will in this segment and um, arguably in, in the industry is we'll take you to some, some pretty crazy off-roading. So we're going to run you down through a canyon um, and then up a hill uh, to, re to really get you the chance to, uh, to experience the trail hawk in its, uh, in its natural form. So it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. 
Um, these vehicles uh, start with a sport model. You have a sport, uh, a latitude, a limited, and of course the, uh, the Trailhawk, the purpose-built four-wheel drive uh, model. Sport starts at uh, uh, $22,995, so great content value when you consider you know, 10 airbags, 9 uh, speed automatic, all of that stuff is standard on the, uh, on the Sport. This is a latitude model, and we expect that the latitude will run um, you know, as, the, uh, as the highest runner in the range. So please make sure you get a little bit of uh, time in, uh, in one of the latitudes. You can get a latitude in both the four cylinder and the six cylinder. Um, all of the range comes in both front wheel drive and, uh, and four by four, with the exception of Trailhawk, which is four by four only. Sport starts at uh, 22,995, as I said. So for $1,500 more, you get a latitude. And you can see the, uh, the latitude upgrades are a little more chrome, roof rack, you've got um, aluminum wheels, You've got the, um, the fog lights from, from the outside as, long, as well as sunscreen glass, so you can clearly differentiate it as a, as a latitude. Inside, you get this really neat uh, storage uh, compartment in the front seat, leather wrap steering wheel, audio controls, some nice soft touches inside as well. Um, and then the uh, uh, Limited comes in at uh, 27995 So, like all Limited uh, Jeep vehicles, You'd expect leather seats, heated <coughs> seats, nice polished wheels, lots of chrome on the outside, um, memory seats, the 8.4 touchscreen, 7-inch TFT, fully configurable, uh, all of the stuff that you'd expect in a, uh, in a luxury vehicle. So um, that's the, uh, the limited. Uh, the limited in 4x4 form is 29995 So uh, four-wheel drive is available everywhere for $2,000. And the Trailhawk, because it only comes in uh, four-wheel drive, it's uh, $29,495. So it doesn't come with full leather. Uh, you'll see there's a leather and cloth trim seat in it. But it does come with all of the four-wheel drive hardware uh, that the guys have mentioned. So an extra uh, inch of, of lift, uh, you know, the, uh, the 32, 22, uh, 30 uh, approach, breakover, and departure angles, all of the... Uh, the traction you need with the, uh, the Firestone uh, all-terrain tires, so you'll really be able to take that and push it to its limits. That's what it's all about. It needs to prove that it's a Jeep, and you'll be able to have fun uh, with that off-road here today. So